Hi friends, welcome to another episode of Meghalaya series. If you haven't watched the previous videos from Meghalaya, do watch them. Links are in description. This was officially our last day in Meghalaya and on this day we have covered Mosmai Caves, Nokalikai Falls, Umiyam Lake on our way back to Guwahati. Also, there's a little twist in plan which we'll be sharing during the course of this video. So let's get started. Everything comes to an end. So was our stay in Maple Pine. Though it was short, but we are definitely coming back as we had a wonderful time here. First thing on our list today is Mosme Caves which is in Sohra and it is 1 hour 30 minutes drive from Moflang. Visitors timing for Mosmai Caves is from 9.30 till 5.30. You have to pay 90 rupees if visitors are less than 3 persons. Else, entry fees is 30 rupees per head with some extra amount for camera. These are limestone caves that are actually 250 meters long, however only 150 meters is open for public. These caves are possibly the most famous among all Meghalaya caves and are quite well developed for tourists. There are little bridges built over cave streams making it easy for visitors to navigate. At some places the cave is narrow enough where you have to squeeze or crawl making it more interesting.
water seeps inside the caves through the stones. Mosmai Caves are must visit when in Meghalaya. Next place for today is Nokli Kai Falls, which is 6 to 7 kilometers from Mosmai Caves. No, Kalika is the most dramatic and tallest plunge waterfall in India. You should and must add No Kalika waterfalls to your Meghalaya itinerary. This waterfall is the fourth highest waterfall in the world. As it's a rain-fed waterfall, May to September is the perfect time to visit these falls. It's when you can witness the falls in its full glory. When we reached there, it was all foggy and we could not see the waterfalls. But after waiting for some time, we got a sight for few seconds of the breathtakingly gorgeous waterfall. After Nokalikai Falls, we headed towards Shillong. We reached Shillong by the afternoon and were starving. We had our lunch at City Hut Dhaba, which is in Shillong. Though it's a Dhaba by name, but it has a cool ambience and is well-maintained restaurant. After having Meghalayan food for so many days, we ordered North Indian food and we relished every single bite of it. While having our lunch, we made a little change in plan of not staying in in Guwahati and directly going to Gorakhpur. After our lunch, we headed towards Umiyam Lake. Umiyam Lake lies 20 kilometers away from the main city of Shillong towards Guwahati.
the entry ticket here is 20 rupees per person and 20 rupees per vehicle for the parking Boating can be done here but we reached in the evening so we could not go for boating. But then we enjoyed a perfect sunset by the lakeside. An interesting fact about this lake, long ago two sisters went out for sightseeing, one of them got lost and the other returned home alone weeping and wailing and there was a lake of tears. This lake was later named as Omium Lake literally meaning water of the eye. Hope you like this video and our journey in Meghalaya. If you have any further questions, do leave a comment or DM us on Instagram. Please subscribe to our channel and also follow us on Instagram. See you in another video from a new place. Bye. Bye.